Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us and thank you for letting us participate today. <clears throat> My name is Jorge Flores and I'm uh, part of the centralized enrollment team um, that assists parents with their uh, enrollment and their applications. Um, and I'm also student transfer coordinator. And we have my, uh, my colleague uh, Juan Barron here as well, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Juan Barron. Uh, I'm a recru recruitment coordinator with the Office of Centralized Enrollment. Thank you so, thank you very much, Juan. So um, you just heard some great information from some of our awesome uh, counselors from our district, from Rosemont and from Garcia regarding the expectations for your students as they transition onto um, uh, from their uh, elementaries and, and up. Um, and they spoke about power school and about, um, uh, which is a great resource for your, for your student. It has the, the data that you need to go ahead and see their grades and things like that. And also regarding school mint, which actually is the um, other part of uh, where that you use as a parent to uh, enroll your student every year but in that um, schoolman uh, account, you can also apply for the different programs that exist. So we're going to speak about the application process for choice schools and neighborhood schools. So um, on the agenda right now in our presentation, we're going to speak about all the programs that are available. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. If you can go on to the next slide, please. So what is centralized enrollment? Well, our centralized enrollment team actually is in three locations for your convenience. Um, it, uh, we assist parents directly at these three locations uh, so that if you need assistance in uh, creating an account for your, for your students as they, uh, uh, so that you can go ahead and start the enrollment um, forms online, we're available for you. And we're trying to uh, do this so that you have a one-stop shop to do all your enrollment but also applying to a different school as well. Right now we have three locations and we're working on having another, uh, another one so that we can serve all our uh, quadrants in our, in our district. Next slide, please. So uh, at these three locations, we have awesome team members who are there to help you. English and Spanish is available for you to assist you um, at all times, Monday through Friday. And uh, here are some of our great team members. Next slide, please. They have some great smiles. So, you know, you, uh, you already have over 200 plus neighborhood program schools that are available to your student uh, just by the fact of the address that you uh, live in uh, within our school district actually determines what is your zone neighborhood school. So, uh, and some of these great neighborhood schools have some great programs on their campuses for your students. But let's just say you wanted to go ahead and also um, maybe think about maybe uh, uh, having your child attend a different school, like a, another neighborhood school that has some other programs on it, or maybe even a magnet program school. And that is why Schoolman is such an important tool for you to use as you uh, help your students transition from school to school, uh, grade level to grade level, and uh, the different programs that are available for your students. And we want to find the right fit for your student. So we have student transfers where uh, if your child, uh, if you want to have your child attend a different school other than his assigned zone school, you can go ahead and on that schoolman application um, request a transfer to a different neighborhood school. Some of our neighborhood schools also have some great dual language programs, uh, IB programs, and some of the schools have innovation programs on those campuses as well. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, I just mentioned student transfers. Student transfers are available for your students in grades kinder to 12, so they can attend a different school other than their zone neighborhood school. It, this is kind of an important thing for those transitioning for pre-kinder as well, because um, you uh, pre-kinder, pre you may be uh, uh, actually having your child attend a school that is not their zone neighborhood school. So this is where student transfer uh, requests would be very important for your child because you may have them at a different neighborhood school than your zone school. And this is where you would use this system to go ahead and apply for a transfer to that school so they can continue on at that, at that school. We also have IB programs, a lot of elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools, which has become a very popular program where the student uh, has more of a, um, of a world uh, um, 
mentality and regarding to their academics as well. Uh, next slide, please. Some of our great schools, both in, in, uh, in elementary and secondary, have the dual language programs where their primary focus in, um, is, and I'll just be brief, the primary focus is being taught their core classes in English, but also learning some of those core classes in Spanish. So this has been shown in, in studies to actually assist the students develop even better academically. And it's become a very popular program uh, nationwide. Next slide, please. So along with, uh, with those regular neighborhood school programs, we also have transformation schools. Now, they become extremely popular along with the other programs, I'm gonna, uh, the magnet program I'm gonna speak about in just a second. But transformation schools are also very popular where um, it's they, you have single gender schools, uh, where um, all boys, all girls, we have Montessori schools, personalized learning, STEAM schools, exploratory arts, and they're available for your students from, from elementary all the way up to high school. Next slide, please. So for some of your uh, students who are entering high school, some of the new great programs that we have for your high schoolers are those associations, those uh, associations with our uh, uh, Dallas Community Colleges, where some of our high schools have p -techs on their colleges, early college and collegiate academies. This is a great program for your students as well, where they can apply, where they can actually get um, credit by attending um, uh, our our neighboring uh, community colleges to receive up to 60 credit hours of credit uh, so that they can transition those credit hours that they earned and when they attend um, college right after high school. So next slide, please. And now a new program that's uh, just recently developed is Career Institutes. Now, Career Institutes, it's something, it's something that you can speak uh, for your incoming ninth graders, for your students. Um, uh, and their counselors can speak with them regarding it because the three career institutes that are available right now, uh, fourth one is coming, uh, serve uh, some of our uh, high schools already. And this is basically where the student attends the, their high school, but then is taken to uh, one of those uh, career institute locations where some of the programs that they have available for them and a pathway to an actual career like uh, av aviation mechanics, robotics, different things that they can go ahead and use um, it, right away as soon as they graduate from high school. And some of them, uh, some of the students have already gotten uh, job offers immediately from those uh, uh, different uh, uh, programs and businesses that have, that have uh, partnered with our career institutes as well. Next slide, please. And our uh, longest running programs for students are the magnet schools. As uh, many of you may know about the magnet schools, now, um, the transformation schools are also very uh, advanced schools for your students and they're lottery based, but the magnet schools are actually schools that are also lottery based, but uh, this, uh, they also uh, work by academics. So uh, they do require a certain GPA for your students and they do require some um, certain um, state assessment grades. And uh, some may actually include an interview. Some may include, uh, include other uh, assessments and evaluations but we have some great nation, uh, uh, nationally um, renowned uh, magnet programs like Townview, Booker T. Washington. We've got some great programs that the whole uh, United States knows about. So we're very highly ranked in some of our magnet schools. Next slide, please. The next slides are just regarding what I just had mentioned about the requirements for uh, that in academics and grade point averages and in the star exams or map exams as well. Next slide, please. And here is the timeline for the application uh, for not only for magnets, but also for um, the, um, the all the applications that just finished with the first round of applications was this January 31st. However, uh, the reason we're still speaking about this is because every November till the end of January is the time that your student can apply. But not only that, in um, the middle of, of, of March, there's another round of applications that are gonna be available. So March 21st will be another time for you to go ahead and log into your Schoolman account. And if you're liking uh, to go ahead and apply to see some of the schools that are still available, you can use it to go ahead and apply for the uh, for um, 
uh, some of those schools and some of those great programs that are available for your students. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. I think this is where my colleague, Juan, is gonna go ahead and take over. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jorge, for uh, explaining all those uh, great programs uh, that Data ISD offers. And uh, parents, as, as you uh, got to see, DISD offers more than 100 plus choice schools for, uh, for uh, our students. And um, there, there's so many programs out there. Uh, I know it can be a little overwhelming to try to uh, find the best fit school for your child. But we, we do have uh, some tools in place that can help you uh, because as you can see, we have magnet schools, collegiate academies, transformation schools, IB programs, career institutes, dual language programs, and even uh, our neighborhood schools, even though those schools have some excellent programs within them. Um, so to help you find some of these programs, uh, Dallas ISD has uh, the school finder tool. Uh, and if we go on to the next slide, please, we're going to be able to see a quick overview of um, the School Finder tool. Uh, all right, so this School Finder tool, um, you can use it, you know, to uh, find uh, the, the zoned neighborhood, neighborhood school. Um, but also, if you notice the, the tool on the right, uh, it says, help me find a school or program of choice. So this is uh, the tool that uh, we uh, recommend for parents to use. You can select the student's grade level for the upcoming school year, and then it'll take you through um, a little um, guided search. You'll enter your address, you'll select what uh, type of schools or programs you're interested in, and then uh, at the end it's going to give you the results. It's going to show you what schools uh, have those specific programs that you're interested in. So this is a great tool uh, for uh, parents to use. Um, you're going to be able to uh, search by location, best fit, and school performance. Uh, and um, you, you'll be able to find not only our, our choice programs, but the programs that our neighborhood schools also have within them, uh, such as innovation schools as well. Uh, we can go on to the next slide. All right, now this is just a, a quick overview of how to apply. Um, it is important to remember that um, the first round of applications, as uh, Mr. Flores just mentioned, uh, did end on January 31st, but parents are going to have that opportunity to apply again starting on uh, March 21st. It's going to be right after spring break. Uh, we're going to open up applications again. Uh, but for those of you that did uh, apply during this application window, there's uh, a few um, uh, a few uh, deadlines, or not deadlines, but um, timelines to, to keep in mind. And we're gonna go over a few of those deadlines in, in just a little bit. But once, um, once it opens up again, th these are some tips for applying. So one of the best things to, to know is that if you're using um, a, a laptop or a computer, uh, the, the system, the application system works best with Google Chrome. All right, so that's one of the key uh, things to remember. Uh, you might have issues if you are using other browsers such as um, uh, Microsoft Edge, um, but with Google Chrome, it, it, it works excellent. Uh, also, uh, the dallasisd.org forward slash choose dallasisd, I'm going to go ahead and post that um, uh, link on, on the chat in a little bit. But that's a great website where parents can go. You're going to be able to find all these tools, such as the School Finder and the application system itself. But this website will also have all the programs listed on there. It's going to give a, a brief detail of what the program is. Uh, it's also going to show a, a video of, uh, of these uh, programs. And um, you'll be able to also uh, re read more in, as far as what this program, all the, the different programs that D Dallas ISD offers and uh, the availability of uh, these schools as well. Um, also, one thing to remember, uh, as you notice here on one of the uh, last um, bullet points on here, we did make some um, changes to the application. So uh, on the application, you're gonna be able to see the school year dropdown it's important to remember that you have to be on the correct school year because uh, it's the, for this current school year is still open. So you're going to be able to actually submit a few applications to our neighborhood schools. And if you're trying to do applications for the next school year, 
uh, it's important to change the school year on there. Uh, and once you're actually filling out the application, uh, one of the most important things to remember is that you have to rank your schools and um, you're gonna have five selections and you're gonna rank the schools from most desires. So highest to lowest, um, number one being the highest rank. And this is important because uh, the student will only get one offer. Uh, so it, it is important that the most desired school goes uh, ranked as number one. Okay, we can go on to the next slide, please. Okay, and uh, here are a few um, dates to remember. So uh, I, I know the deadline to apply was January 31st, but that's only for the first round. And if, as you see here, um, it's gonna open back up on March 21st. But for those of you that did uh, submit applications uh, before the January 31st deadline, uh, just letting you know during this month of February, uh, the, um, the, the applications are gonna get processed and then they're gonna go through the lotteries. And on March 1st, official notifications of acceptances will go out via email. So on March 1st, if, if you did apply, uh, you're going to be expecting an email. Okay, for second round applicants. Oh, well, before I get to the second round, for, the first, for those of you that did apply and will get an, an acceptance on March 1st, if you do get an acceptance, uh, remember that you have 10 days, 10 days to accept that offer. So that's very important to remember. Uh, after that 10 days, that offer will expire. Now, for the second round, so the applications that will open up for uh, March 21st. Um, if you do receive an offer for the second round, um, you have five days to accept that offer. Okay, so it's very important uh, to, to um, you know, check your emails. And if you get that offer, um, you have to act quickly and, and accept that offer. Okay, next slide. And I believe this is it. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, uh, you can definitely reach us at 972-925-5560. Uh, as Mr. Flores mentioned, we are uh, open Monday through Friday. So give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you, everyone. George and uh, Juan, we actually do have a question. Let me see. Awesome. Oh, actually, no, sorry. It's oh, okay. the information wasn't in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> um sorry okay, let me that's okay there is any other... and if anybody thinks of any questions uh uh jot down that number or also you can find us on our website but 972-925-5560 there's a whole team of enrollment uh um personnel that will be able to help you 